welcome to VTU e Sikshana program. Myself, Dr. Navin GM, Head of the Research Center, Department of Civil Engineering, GC Chamranagar. Today we discuss about uh, design of RCC and steel structure in module 2 gantry girder. In our previous session, we have discussed about how to calculate the maximum calculate the maximum bending moment and maximum shear force and selecting the session and how the steel table and uh, IS code book we have taken the property of various session and how to select the session according to your load condition. In that uh, we are considering the wheel load and also the additional load due to electrically operated. In that session, we are calculated a compression flange and also plastic movement that is plastic modulus will be calculated in your previous session and today we discuss here that is uh, how to take an up your session that is uh, I section ISWB uh, in this width is given in steel table that is 250 mm then thickness of flange is 21.3 and thickness of web is equal to 11.2 mm and also the CG of this Y section that is YY 510.2 then here 89.2 that is total from this to this will be calculated that is 600 minus of 510.2 this is 89.8 gives the CG of your this I such uh, WB then coming to the ISMC in this part the width will be 300 mm the thickness the width is 90s is there in that the 7.4 uh, is the thickness we are adding up this 7.4 mm gives 97.4 90 plus 7.4 gives 97.4 is the width of the mc that is medium channel section in that regards this is thickness of 7.6 will be coming then this is the pattern of stress distribution along yy and zz axis along yy and zz axis in that uh, fy here stress will be denoted by fy this also fy this is also fy then from this the thickness 89.8 minus this thickness what is this 21.3 gives 68.4 this is the distance from neutral axis to the bottom of the top flange. This is the stress distribution along the sides and top and bottom. This is shows the section of your Ganty girder. Let us discuss about how this stress will be getting. Then to find the plastic section that is uh, modulus about ZZ in that ZP that is area into distance about E, e about AA that is section E. In that uh, ZP means that is session modulus in that session modulus the total area that is 21.3 into 250 for what is that one this I session okay 21.3 into this 250 this is web section. Then 510 minus 21.3 divided by 2 about that that is 510.2 minus 21.3 divided by 2 from this to this what is the distance we are taken here okay plus 510.2 this is minus 21.3 whole square divided by 2 that is distance okay this this value 
what is this value? This value pi 10 minus 3 per web section we are taken here web section 11.2 is the web thickness square divided by 2 plus 11.2 that is web thickness into 68.5 here for that portion for this portion this web section 68.5 square divided by 2 plus at the top that is 250 into 21.3 here 68.5 plus 21.3 divided by 2 this is how this 20 this will be calculated by this value 89.8 minus 68.2 from this plus this 4564 that is thickness area of the plan that is 97.4 minus 23.6 this value 94.97.4 this value gives the zp in that zp we are taken summation of this okay summation of this gives 2.66 into 10 raised to 6 Sub summation of this value okay web value gives this value 1.339 into 10 raised to 6 and summation of this value okay gives 26.628 then summation of this portion gives the this value that is 421.47 into 10 raised to 3 plus what is this summation of this value okay gives this this value that is 360 into 10 raised to 3 this summation of this all value the summation of this value 1 2 3 4 5 gives 4.7 8 3 into 10 raised to 6 mm to the power of 4 okay 1 2 3 4 5 how to get this 1 2 3 4 5 for this is for this 1 this is 2 for this portion 4 for this portion 5 for this portion 6 like that you can getting this all the value okay to find the plastics sectional modus about zz axis similarly for compression plan for compression plan means ismc in that zp that is zy okay that is 21.3 into 250 square divided by 4 that is uh, session modulus then 7.8 300 minus 13.6 square divided by 4 plus 2 into 90 into 13.6 of 50 150 minus 13.6 divided by 2 what is this portion what is this portion what is this portion how to calculate this one means for this session okay for this session for compression for compression we are taken here this portion 1 2 3 okay like that here 1 2 3 this portion this portion this portion will be add up of this 1 2 3 portion we are getting 828.47 into 10 raised to 3 mm to the power of 4 this is ZP per compression plan. This is per about the wall. Then what is the necessity checks for this cantilever mains? Here the maximum bending capacity, bending moment capacity. This is the one of the criteria for checking that is maximum bending. How much the maximum capacity of this crane will be taken? That is cantilever will be taken. For this, uh, we refer IS standard code box. Uh, this uh, necessary check will be there according to their classes. 
we are check this uh, checks necessity check checks for my case in that uh, gantic girder breadth by thickness what is the breadth by thickness gives the limited value limited value of the bending moment capacity that is <coughs> this is uh, 250 minus tw that is t uh, 250 minus tw means thickness of web then <coughs> tf means thickness of plan here my case that is uh, 250 divided by 2 means 125 plus thickness 11.2 divided by 2 that is thickness of web then thickness of flange is 21.3 this gives 5.6 this summation of this value okay gives the this value that is 5.6 this is lesser than 9.6 according to is is mc uh, is code 800 this is less, should be lesser than 9.9.4 uh, therefore this is okay okay the check for bending capacity the our uh, selection of uh, session will be okay then coming to the this is the one check another one check is there for web this is for flange for of i section this is for web for i section this is b divided by t that is uh, breadth divided by thickness that is uh, what is the sec is equal to 600 that is thickness uh, length of your wb minus 21.3 into 2 divided by 11.2 okay this is the necessary check will be there in that what is the summation of this one that is 49.76 the 49.76 is lesser than 84 for compact member according to is 800 code in this compact session 84 will be okay up to 84 but my case this is 49.76 therefore it will be okay for my selection of session then about uh, bt by channel flange for channel similarly for web this is for channel that is uh, 90 minus same thing 90 minus 7.6 divided by 13.6 thickness gives 6.06 that gives lesser than 9.4 that is plastic this is for compaction this is for plastic therefore this is lesser than 9.4 therefore the session we are selected is okay and maximum capacity of the member is also okay then coming to the moment carrying capacity calculation of moment carrying capacity on that mzd that is uh, maximum bending moment along this z axis fy by zp divided by 1.1 in that uh, fy is already given in your problem that is fy is equal to 250 that is uh, grade of steel i think is given in your problem into that is carrying capacity that is zp zp is 4 78.3 into 10 raised to 4 divided by 1 by 1.1 that gives 1087 into 10 raised to 6 newton mm then coming to the other condition that is 1.2 ze y fy divided by 1.1 that is this value that is mz is this value 1.2 ze fy divided by 1.1 this is 1.1 into zb for 370.95 into 10 to 6 what is the fy that is 250 fy is the 250 divided by 1.1 that gives 1.012 into 10 to 9 newton mm that is we can return newton per mm as 1012 kilo newton meter this is 10 to 9 is there newton per mm we are taken 1012 kilo newton meter 
then come into the compression flange that is m t z is equal to f y z p divided by 1.1 that is what is f y that is 250 then z p is equal to 828.47 into 10 raise to 3 divided by 1.1 then 188.29 into 10 raise to 6 newton mm that gives in kilo newton we can write 188.29 kilo newton meter then 1.2 ze fy divided by 1.1 in that case we take 1.2 into 280 that is ze is 580.92 into 10 raise to 4 that is fy is 250 divided by 1.1 that is 158.4 into 10 raise to 6 newton mid mm we can write this mz uh, m dz is equal to 158.4 kilo newton meter which controls okay which is controlled then check for a combined loading capacity for combination of uh, MC and WP air. Check the necessary condition. In that, uh, how this uh, 759.96 that is carrying capacity of shear, then 46.65 year 1012. This is 158.4. Okay, here we can get this value. Okay, one uh, one zero one two year one fifty eight. Okay, this is this will be the value. Then point seven five one plus zero point two nine five for this value gives this value. For this value, we are getting this value. Okay, similarly, but here we uh, look at look at this uh, value that is 1.05 is nearly we are taken nearly 1 otherwise we can redesign the structure uh, redesign the member but here slightly one is okay for factor here and un unfactor we are looking for factor load therefore it is okay then check for the buckling resistance how the buckling resistance will be calculated for checking here uh, this formula is given in IS 800. This is MD is equal to beta B ZP F B into D. Here what is uh, RY that is uh, uh, radiation gyration is equal to root of IY into A. Root of IY that is moment of inertia about Y by area. In that uh, for I session for beam for combination of these two, okay, for WB and also IB, you look after that area 10 raise to uh, 4, okay, this is the total area, area, this is I, this is total area for WB, this is for MC, okay, this is I value for M WB and this is for channel session. That gives radiation, uh, radiation of gyration is given 71.57 mm. This is the value. Then I Y divided by R that is uh, I Y divided by R gives 7000 divided by 71.58 gives 97.81. This is nearly equal to 100. That is nearly equal to 100. Therefore, this value will be okay. Then from table 14, IS 800 2002, we can refer uh, any year, a new version of this code, IS 800 2019 or 17 is there, we can go for that one, upgradation. But now we are using 207 year, 2007 year, IS 800 2007, we can use latest version also, we can, this formula will be remain same, there is no changes. HF is equal to height of the flange, height of the flange is equal to 607.6 minus that is total 
height of the flange to the this bit. Then minus 21.3 divided by 2. This is 21.3 divided by 2. Minus of this flange and this flange. Okay. Minus of this flange and this flange. This is 21.3. Okay. 7.6. Well done. No? Divided by 2. This gives this distance to this distance. What is the distance? Approximately 582.5. 582.5 is approximate height. Okay. HF. Then HF divided by TF. That is 582.5 divided by 21.3 gives 27.3. That is nearly equal to that is 27.5. You can use 27.5. Then stress at the critical stress. What is the critical stress here coming? 280 MPa. Okay. Critical stress is a 280 MPa will be taken for further solution. Then coming to the, this is the rail. This is your I session. This is your WB. Okay. This is WB. You see this was neutral axis here. Okay. It is the force acting from table 13A of IS 800 FBD is equal to 160 MPA. Okay. Here MDZ is equal to 1 into 160 into 478.3 into 10 raise to 4. That gives 4765.3 kilo Newton meter is greater than 759.2 kilo newton meter therefore it is okay okay therefore this session mz is equal to this moment will be okay longitudinal force along the rail you see you see this one longitudinal force along the rail this is the rail normally this is the rail then lf is equal to pi times into 240 that is V load 245.6 into 2. 2 is the 2 V load divided by 100 gives 24.56 kilo Newton. Then coming to the moment along the longitudinal direction height that is 24.56 length into HF is equal to we are calculating that is 75. This is 75 is given in your problem itself is 75 plus 2. 47.6 that is neutral axis that is yc that is uh, from this to this gives 247.6 that gives 7923 kilo newton that is approximately we can uh, write 7.92 kilo newton meter in a kilo newton meter then for this is longitudinal horizontal this is uh, MLHU along a very small, we are getting this 7.92 that is MLH into 1.5 minus 11.88 kilo Newton meter. This is 11.88 uh, kilo Newton meter. In that uh, gives uh, how much that value that is uh, uh, this multiplying. This is equal not uh, this one 7.92 into 1.5 gives 11.8. 8 kilo Newton meter. This is very small as can neglected. Sometime it can be if you are interested to you can add up in this value. Okay. Moment will be add up in. Therefore, the longitudinal force along the rail will be very small. In my problem, we can neglecting that moment. Then check for shear. That is ultimate shear will be 569.73 kilo Newton. In previous session, this ultimate shear will be calculated. Then shear capacity of the section will be calculated A divided by root 3 into FYW divided by 1.1. That is A average is equal to how much that value? That is 600 for web session into 11.2 into 250 for width. This is 250 for your Fy that is uh, maximum stress available stress is given 250 that is root 3 into 1.1 that value gives that is uh, how much shear capacity 
881.4 kilo newton this value is greater than pi 69.73 is smaller than this 881 this is smaller than 881.8 kilo newton therefore our selection of session is okay for cs check also we can check 0.6 into 881.8 that is 529.06 kilo newton then this is slightly lesser than u v this is slightly lesser than u v then we have taken as 569.73 kilo newton okay this is 7 uh, 569.73 69 kilo newton then however that is uh, moment capacity reduced slightly you see this one this is uh, slightly we can re reducing yes the section is to be slightly increased we can slightly increasing what is that uh, you considering 0.6 times means slightly increasing yes the section is to be slightly increasing or we can work on this session is this session also if required increase the size of the channel to 300 uh, is there but we can increase 350 or introduce a small plate at top or bottom okay the addition of plates is also increasing but why because this is very slightly normally 30 kilo newton difference is there therefore we can increase 350 or introduce the small plate at top or bottom whatever it may be but introducing a top is the better results why because moment of inertia about uh, top will be increasing by introducing the plate at top. Check for deflection. Uh, this is the one of the necessity check according to IS code in that page number uh, 31. The uh, for working load equivalent point that is uh, in page number 31. Refer that the W is equal to what is that uh, uh, two wheel loads that is uh, 392.95 that addition of all the loads then y max is equal to that is deflection at maximum is equal to w l to the power of 3 divided by 48 ea for simply supported beams or simply supported session in that what is we have taken w is equal to 392.95 that is kilo newton we are taken here into 10 raised to 3 or 6 we are taken here then that is 10 into span how much that span is 10, uh, 7 okay 7000 into 10 raised to 3 uh, divided by that is uh, 48 into e is equal to for this uh, modulus of elasticity of steel modulus of elasticity of steel that is this is standard for all grade of steels that is 2.1 into 10 raised to 5 into i is equal to moment of inertia for plan section 1.33 into 10 raised to 9 in that we are getting y max is equal to 10.05 mm okay in that for allowable deflection is according to code page number 31 l by 750 this is uh, L means 7000 divided by 750 gives 9.33 mm. Okay, here two point load that is value is coming that is 10.05 that is smaller than 10.5 mm. Okay, it is very closer. Okay, very closer. This is not greater than 10.05. Therefore, it is closer. Therefore. If W is treated as UDL, that is uh, delta is equal to 10.05 divided by 1.6. If you are treated as UDL, then 6.28 mm. Therefore, the session is okay. The necessity deflection check, we can old school the session. These are the sum checks will be do before the selection of allowable allowable stresses then coming to the
next design of weld here there are two types of uh, connections are coming here first one is uh, welded connection second one is bolted connection we can go for welded or bolted any one whatever we are convenient but in your problem you mention welded connection design a welded connection or if you are connected bolted connection means we go for welded or bolted whatever it asking but we are illustrated both uh, welded as well as bolted connections but uh, here how to design a weld for a uh, cantilever this is uh, how the thickness of size of weld will be decided some necessity relations here tau per mm that is uh, weld for mm is equal to v of a into y divided by i this is the shear capacity of an member normally steel will be shear capacity okay this is uh, nominal stress will be there this is uh, is ultimate shear is equal to 5 69.73 into 10 to 3 into 300 area 300 into 7.6 that is uh, mc session mc channel session into that is uh, 249 uh, 249 that is cg minus 7.6 divided by 2 this cg is the from top minus 7.6 divided by 2 divided by i that is total i that is uh, that is uh, for i session 1.33 into 10 raised to 9 that uh, gives the weld for mm gives that is 3 238.1 mm up to 238 mm we can weld it per meter then this is the length of weld will be discuss here then let us uh, s is the size of the weld uh, that strength per meter mm the strength per meter will be calculated by using this relation what is the that relation that is 0.7 of 2 times of s into 410 divided by root of 3 into 1 by 1.25 that gives um, the size of the weld in that uh, size of the weld that is uh, 26 that is s will be calculated that is uh, in terms of s will be calculated that is 265.13 s yes. that is uh, strength per meter then 265.13 s yes, is equal to length of weld to 38.1 mm or go okay up to that we can calculate it in that s yes, is equal to how much we are getting 0.89 mm that is say 1 mm that is uh, size of the weld will be how much s yes, is equal to 1 mm in my case uh, the welding will be very lesser in that how much that was 1 mm but uh, we cannot weld 1 mm therefore say 3 mm weld minimum 3 mm weld okay on both side as continuous welded not uh, in inter intermediate uh, welding like that we can weld it throughout the length of the flange top flange okay this is the size of welded we can calculate it by using shear force okay maximum shear force that is we are getting only 1 mm but we are welding my problem is 3 mm minimum we are specified 3 mm at both side okay then coming to the here intermediate welding that is top welding this is intermediate welding assume 5 mm size 50 mm length weld okay here only intermediate we can take an 5 mm 50 mm length weld and also pitch of 265.13 into 5 into 50 that is thickness this is 238 point length of the 238.1 this is length of the weld we are get 
278.3 mm say 250 mm center to center that is 250 mm center to center we can weld it up to that length this will be pitching will be given that is 278.3 means we can pitch the 250 mm. the pitching will always lesser what we are getting therefore 250 we can say 200 mm per center to center also okay but not greater than this 278.3 we cannot uh, say 300 280 we can lesser than this one 250 or 200 the intermediate weld will be do then for bolted connections for bolted connections use 16 mm dia bolts of grade 4.6 this is only assuming first for connecting a bolt uh, the size of the bolt will be assuming depending upon the the shear value of an member okay how many bolts are required for this uh, channel to the welded uh, web section will be weld, uh, bolted in that bolt value will be taken for 16 mm per grade 4.6 the bolt value will be the bolt value will be that will be refer in steel table for different grades of bolts are there but we are taken 16 mm in a steel table we are bolt value will be given b bolt value b v is equal to 36.2 kilo newton then pitch is equal to bv into 2 divided by t in that value we can 36.2 into 2 into that value gives the value that our value is 12 into 7.6 that is 91.2 mm here v v into 2 into t means that is 304 mm we are getting 304 mm center to center this is lesser than 12 into tw that is this is this is greater this uh, formula is refer in is 800 that is 304 mm center to center lesser than 12 t tw here we can get 12 into 7.6 91.2 mm then say that is pitching of 91.2 we can lesser than that we can provide the distance lesser than that not greater than that then say 16 mm bolt at 16 mm bolt at 90 meter center to 90 mm center to center 16 dia at 90 mm center to center will be provided the detailing of this i section will be try yourself very simple diagram already shown okay already shown this type of connections will be there we can write this as your detailing no problem in that problem uh, the i section will be this is w h b this is uh, m c in this type of pattern we can draw the detailing how much that value will be coming this type of will be coming in that welded say that is uh, 250 mm from 300 mm we can take this is welded of uh, 250 mm you are getting 250 mm welded at 3 mm intermediate will be coming here in that bolt say 16 mm say 16 mm in that 16 mm bolt will be provided at 6 90 mm center to center that will be 16 mm will be the 16 mm bolt we are using 90 mm center to center here for holding the i section and hp section then the bottom session will be if you are if you are in your problem the neutral axis will be lies here this type of distance of 89.6 i think uh, 59 uh, 89.6 will be cg in that we can draw bolted collection like this uh, and welded connections of this okay uh, providing bolt like this uh, 
every 90 okay every 90 meter up to 360 okay we can provide that I section here this is 250 mm okay this I section will be 300 300 mm that section will be connected like this for bolted okay bolted if you are using bolted very simple if you are providing welded how to draw welded connections okay in that welded connection the size of the weld will be th uh, say 3 uh, 3 uh, 3 mm we are providing 3 mm up to length of 250 for that condition we welded this thickness of this two by the gap of 3 mm this is uh, up to 250 mm center to center then this is your cg that is uh, this is the i section mc this is w p that is abs okay in that uh, we are connecting this part as a welded connections in this bracket uh, this type of ganti girder will be designed in your previous uh, session but we can try for this addition of this plate addition of this plates will be providing at the top okay providing of this uh, top of the flange will be providing and draw the session if your safer will be there if your plates will be provided at the top like this for same thickness length 250 for another will be provided like this up to bottom this is 250 this is 250 m for the this is uh, for 3 mm weld at 250 mm if you are providing bolt if you are providing bolt for plate is more effective you providing plates means we providing bolt this is the plate this is the I section we are using we are providing every 90 mm bolts will be provided center to center this is uh, how many numbers uh, size of the bolts is 16 mm okay 16 mm bolts of the value of 3.6 in a is 8 and uh, steel table is given 16 mm we can provide uh, 8 mm or uh, not 8 mm this is greater than 6, 16 mm i think this is 90 mm is coming means only three boards or four boards are coming we can go for lesser than 16 mm that is 4 mm uh, 6 8 mm or 12 mm and also another lower version can be lower board can be used for this type of ganting this is how the Gatti girder can be detailing in your drawing.